So welcome to another James Loves Butter douche canoe boxing and video um, of the highest order, highest quality and highest calibre. Um, just to state, this is, as you would see on the small print, that this is a Barber Bidale unboxing video that I've recently just had delivered about six minutes ago. Um, so I'm unboxing for your viewing pleasure. Previously, I have um, bought and wear a Barber Ashby navy wax jacket um i also bought the subsequent um fur liner although no animals were hurt in making that fur liner i do like a fur liner um however the ashby is a lighter weight product um and a slightly different cut and shape it's more of an autumn spring kind of uh deal however the bidale is a slightly thicker uh, more insulated product particularly in the arms and it's got arm cuffs that prevent the wind blowing up one's armhole which is always nice so I'll just crack on with my unprofessional douche canoe unboxing and I will place the phone of dreams in between the legs of dreams so you can see the box of dreams being opened like so you know some may say gosh rather ridiculous to buy a very similar coat in the same color um, just because it's slightly thicker but there's a different cut to it there's a, there's, a, there's going to be a longevity to the bidale it's one of the classic staples within the barber family um, and you know me when i set my mind to something i get a little bee in my bonnet i have to act out on that thought um, so the packaging is like so. Um, I ordered it from an authorised barber retailer um, and I got it next day delivery. It's uh, appointed to Her Majesty the Queen by appointment of HRH the Duke of Edinburgh, by appointment to HRH the Prince of Wales, by appointment to James Loves Butter. Very nice. So as so, I will take it out of the package. Don't you love my professionalism? So, there it is. Now, I have heard stuff said about barbers being outsourced and not all of them being made in England. So what I did is I called Barber personally and uh, spoke to a representative. And it is stated that the classic Barber models such as the Bidet or the Beaufort and... I can't think of the other one, are still made in the UK. Uh, however, some models are outsourced, um, namely the Ashby, etc., etc. And depending on how much you are a stickler for this kind of thing, although it's just, you know, whatever. But I just thought I'd let you know that. So there's the barber label, the corduroy collar, which is nice. Uh, the flap that you can pop up and, you know, pop together, etc. I will open up my barber what a freaking beauty although I am aware that the video doesn't quite do it justice I know that nice thick solid brass um, zip made by YKK um, on the bidet, all the pocket is on the right hand side. Um, the liner is, it, it's just a thicker jacket. It, it's one that's gonna be last year's and the patina once it wears in, it, it is gonna be a, a coat that can be handed down through the family from father to son, or from father to daughter, or from father to chihuahua. Um, there the, the cuffs on the bidet, and actually with the bidet, the liner goes deep within to the recesses of the arm cavity. Um, and, it, and it's slightly different cut than the Ashby. It's a shorter jacket. You've got your storm flaps as such. Um, I don't know really what else to say to you. Barber care instructions, nice. There's the actual barber. Uh, Royal seal of approval. Bidale model number. 
original authentic original barber tartan um it's a thing to behold it's something that wears in and gets better over the, over time um welcome to covid19 happy new year's eve the world of barber is your onion thank you very much <laughs>